Let's go ahead and take a look at example three. It says develop a function named scale position that takes in a number and a position and returns a position formed by multiplying the number by each of the coordinates of the input position. Okay. Once again, we have our contract, scale position, that takes any number and a position and produces a position. So scale position, if I could type, consumes a number and position and produces a number. We can do define scale position. We'll have the scale and a point. Check expects. So scale position <clears throat> takes in a scale, just a number, let's call it three in this case, and a position. Make position, we'll call this position 2050. Nice easy numbers. Now this function produces a position. Anytime you are producing a position, you need to have a make position. This new position is just going to be produced by multiplying our scale factor times each of the coordinates. So 20 times 3 is 60, 50 times 3 is 150. So there's our new position. A second check expects scale position. Let's do 5 make position. And by the way, positions can be negative numbers, like negative 10, 20. And this should make a position, let's see, 5 times negative 10 is negative 50, 5 times 20 is 100, and that should work just fine. Again, since we're making a position, or producing a position, okay, we have to have a make position. So we might as well go ahead and start with, we're going to make a position we got to think about what our x-coordinate is. Well, our x-coordinate is the x-coordinate of our original point times the scale factor. So we're going to multiply the scale factor times position x of point. There's our x-coordinate. Our y-coordinate is the same thing, except we're going to multiply it by our y-coordinate of point. Close our make position. We close our define. We are good to go, and let's run, and both of the tests passed here.